Hello YouTubers, back again with another install. Uh, this one I was hoping to go a lot smoother but still a work in progress. First timer to, uh, installing in a Ford F-350, um, the year of this one is a 2007. Uh, trying to put, uh, replace the factory uh, head unit with a double bin GPS navigation rear camera. Very important for this truck. Uh, this is one with a big uh, eight and a half foot bed, quad cab, so a mighty large truck. And without a rear camera hooking up to toys, uh, can be a pain in the butt. So here it is um, right now. We've got all the wires plugged in play. Let's turn this one's on. A, this is a Planet Audio. I will uh, list the make and model of this one purchased off of Amazon. Uh, this is uh, saying no signal. I know there's a little bit of a glare from the sun right now. Um, it's all hooked up. It's already uh, set up with satellite. Just got to mount this satellite piece here. Usually on the last truck I had, I mounted it just right here. Uh, it could be a nice sort of some people and you can run it other places but that's just where I usually get to mount that. Uh, there is a conduit in the back of this truck for uh, wiring to get to a rear camera. I'm still uh, learning about that one and I will film that one in another video. But this one uh, is a touch screen. Pretty sweet. Very affordable. Double DIN GPS navigation. Bluetooth. Um, Navigation is already set up. They uh, included a map already in this one. Uh, there's an SD card loaded with GPS. It's all in there. This one uh, has some sweet uh, setup things where you can hook up uh, your phone a uh, or a USB connection to this where you can go right off your phone. But the nice thing about this is uh, with my cell phone. Uh, it, it just Bluetooth connects it, and you can stream Pandora or whatever, uh, whatever you want to do, or what kind of music you might have. So this one's pretty sweet. You can just hit map or enter your address in, and it locates everything and set up nice and sweet. So uh, over here we got a menu button. We can click back to that. Just click onto the radio and get some tunes going. It's pretty sweet. Uh, you can uh, click on band here. Oops. That just switches it to a different, whole different station. I don't know what the heck I just did. So, son of a gun. Um, I might just reset that. Yep, I think I did. Anyhow, um, and go back to the menu button. And I don't have my phone on me, but uh, usually you can go to your, click on your phone here and. Um, my phone's inside the house, and I think it is. Let's see, let's connect it. See if it connects. And you can scan for device. Well, my phone is connected, but when I have it here, I can switch it to Pandora or whatever music I have on my phone if I wanted to, and it'll read right off of that. But it is pretty sweet. Uh, this is the first one with an F-350 panel. You want to make sure your key is in. Push on your parking brake. And you're going to drop your drive down to the number one gear. And by doing that, it allows you to get a lot more maneuverability out of the panel. Because this whole panel comes off to get, even get to back to the stereo. Not like an F-150. A lot more involved with this one. Um, important tool. Panel popper so you're not busting, busting up your truck. Alright, that's a good one to have. Nice little flathead screwdriver. Another great tool. Uh, seven mil, right? Uh, if you got, well, I don't know if you get a ratchet in there. It's a pretty tight squeeze. Some people can pull this whole thing off. I've seen it done. Uh, there are a lot of wire. You got your PowerPoint wires. You've got your AC, uh, your rear window, your four wheel drive. You've got your uh, your info panel. On the other side, you've got your uh, removable pedal. This one right here is pretty short, so that uh, nice thing about it, it pops out. You can take that out, and then you got your light switch and your dimmer. Quite a bit to it. This truck uh, has also a steering steering wheel uh, set up for the stereo. Right now, it is not set up. I'm still trying to figure this one out. Um, there's ways to program it, and I'm gonna have to continue that in a new video. But I just wanted to show you YouTubers, it can be done and it will be done. See you next time.